Hi, this is Dr. Jenny and we continue working in our Unit 3. Uh, we're actually going to start in Chapter 12 now and so let's get started. Uh, this is a problem where you're calculating the project cash flows and then uh, working with net present value once again, but it asks you to work through it. It is a story problem, so you have to work through it. Uh, what we need to find first is we're actually going to have to calculate what our cash flows will be. And so we first must calculate our revenue, and essentially they, the, um, they expect to sell these gas-powered skateboards at $100 a piece, and they expect to sell 10,000 units. So all I did here was just calculate that revenue. Uh, and then under cost of goods sold, uh, they are called variable costs. So this is part of the production of the skateboard. Uh, they say the variable cost is $40 a piece and again 10,000 units. Uh, they also say that we have fixed asset um, costs associated with production of 160. So our cost of goods sold is 560,000. Then they tell us that when we purchase this million dollar initial expenditure, we plan to uh, depreciate it using the straight line method. Uh, there's no salvage value. So basically what I did in Excel, um, I essentially did the, um, you know, the straight line here and you can see that uh, you can actually straight line depreciation. It'll do any of the depreciation methods and it'll help you direct you through it. But I put the cost in. I had a zero salvage and a life of 10. And you probably could have calculated that without using that. But I want you to know that there is a straight line depreciation um, uh, potential just in the Excel functions. Then what I'm doing here is I'm just subtracting my cost of goods sold and my depreciation to get my net operating income and then what it tells us is that our operating cash flow is we take our net operating income minus our taxes plus our depreciation. Now it may surprise you of why are we adding that depreciation in, but if you think about it, it doesn't involve cash. If you um, have a depreciation expense, the offsetting credit to that is accumulated depreciation, not cash. And we're trying to find out the cash um, involved here. So I've brought down my net operating income here. I've calculated my tax based on, uh, it says there's a 34% marginal tax rate. Uh, so I calculated my tax based on that 340,000. I've put my depreciation, brought it down here, and essentially what I did is I added the, uh, I took the net operating income, subtracted the taxes, and added the depreciation. So I know that my cash flow for those uh, 10 years is at least $324,400. Now, another thing that's in this is we have a cash outlay of both a million dollars and you'll notice in the reading here that we have a one-time initial investment of 50000 and networking capital associated with the inventory. And we will get this recovered when the project is sh shut down. So we have 50000 going out of the cash outlay and if you notice down here on year 10, we have 50,000 um, included in this uh, cash flow that's a, a positive amount because we're going get, to get that back. So then all we're doing here to use our net present value is essentially uh, using a 10% rate of return uh, and then putting our values. Again, remember this is the one where you have to um, put all your values individually in, separated by commas, close your parenthesis, and then we're adding that outlay back in because uh, the outlay is a, um, you know, already a negative number. So that's why if we subtracted it, we'd essentially be adding it in, and we don't want to do that. Um, so, and then, you know, if you, we see it's a positive number, so we know that we want to uh, do this. If we wanted to calculate our internal rate of return, we could do that as well. Um, it's well above 10%. I'm going to guess it's maybe 12%. I don't know. But we can actually see that this is a very good investment with an internal rate of return of 28%. Uh, so this is, they didn't ask you to do that in this problem, but the, you can tell that this is really a good uh, example of um, finding a project and whether or not we want to 
uh, invest in it. Now my question would be um, who has come up with these initial uh, suggestions on that we can sell 10,000 gas powered um, skateboards um, because you know I, I would assume that that uh, the people that like skateboards may not want to have anything to do with a gas powered one but I assume it, it could be any widget itself but just in keeping it uh, real I would definitely be asking those kinds of questions so I hope this helped you get started with chapter 12 and I look forward to talking to you again with the next video